So um, at this juncture, let me recognize Honorable I.D. Giang, who had a similar motion, so that uh, he can speak to the motion. Honorable I.D. Giang, please. Constituency of Plateau State. While commending my brother Dasuki for this mat motion on a matter of urgent public importance, I want to say that we note with admiration and sense of national pride the testimony of exceptional and uncommon gallantry demonstrated by Lieutenant Colonel Abu Ali, who exhibited uncommon passion and love for country, such that he hazarded and jeopardized his life at the battlefront in the war against the Boko Haram terrorists. To liberate territories that were under Boko Haram control and occupation in the Northeast, thereby paying the supreme price for fatherland. I also want to say that we note what uh, the Chief of Army st uh, Staff has said concerning the late hero along with the six others, saying that they were very brave, precise, professional, and inspiring. We cannot but applaud the heroism of Lieutenant Colonel Ali, who with the fighting force traversed the Northeast as a war front commander and was an inspiration and motivation to the troops. His exploits and gallantry are better captured by one of his war front compatriots, who as an eyewitness chronicled the escapades of the fallen hero saying, you were indeed a source of inspiration, a confidence builder, a game changer. And you were the first to enter Sambisa and rescue the first 296 women. His colleague further said of him, you took part and led all the major operations to liberate all the communities and clear all Boko Haram terrorist hideouts and enclaves in the northeast from Yola to Borno. Honorable colleagues, mindful that Lieutenant Colonel Ali has left a legacy of heroic accomplishment, exceptional gallantry, love for country, passion for service, loyalty to the nation, and uncommon patriotic zeal worthy of emulation by every Nigerian, we cannot but pay tribute to him. And I want to, while adopting all the prayers that my colleague, Honorable Monguno, has moved, I want to further add that we mandate the Committee on Army to visit the family and convey the condolences of this Honorable House. This is my contribution, right Honorable Speaker and Honorable Colleagues, on this very special tribute to our fallen hero. Thank you.